morning. morning. Welcome to All Star Sports. It is 7 a.m. and today is Disney Cruise Line Embarkation Day. Woo! It's Embarkation Day. What is the song? Uh, I don't, I've never done it. Uh, the 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 window is open, so is that door? I would oh. anyone. Anyway, um, we've got Walt Disney World today on, obviously. Love it. Um, we are heading to the Disney Dream in three, two, three hours, something like that. We're planning to head out about nine, ten o'clock. Um, if you're if you're just jo just if you're just joining us, uh, I'm Adam. This is Gary. We are friends. We do Disney vlogs together sometimes. I do Disney vlogs most of the time on my channel. Um, so subscribe if you'd like to see some Disney Cruise Line vlogs coming away. Um, we're gonna get ready, have some breakfast at All Star Sports. Mm, Mickey waffles. And then Mimu Sheru over to Port Canaveral via an Uber. It is sunny out there. Got my my Ray Bans on. I got my Ray Ban. Is that a song? Um. <clears throat> got Ray Bans on. I got my Ray Bans on. No, I don't know. Who knows? I've got my glasses from Splash Mountain from like three years ago. <laughs> 2016. Yeah. Love it. Love the cheap ones. What a beautiful view this morning. <clears throat> they were playing music down there last night. And, uh, I knew you were going to tell them this. <laughs> and Gary was like, that's live. And I was like, I don't think Ed Sheeran is playing live in the All-Star Sports Resort. But all right. I mean, I mean in all fairness, you were quite tired. I was delirious. Delirious. How long did you sleep for? Six hours? How long did I sleep for? Six, seven, eight. Yeah. So pretty good for you. It's very good for me. I don't usually sleep through the night. I was a very nice bed. Yeah, I was up at 4.50. No, 4.30. I would love it. Dear Florida. Oh, it's chilling. My, nip can you my be, nipples. Can you be cold like this in the other parts of the year? Good morning, all star sports. We can go good morning, starshine, because it quite literally is a land of stars. I mean, pretty much, and it's very, very sunny this morning. I'm that person that digs for their sunglasses for ages. Get some, don't wear them. Gary, see everyone. Back into the pretender. <laughs> Very nice. Look at the We're in the Donald booth. Quack quack. <laughs> Can't do the voice of Donald because it really hurts my voice, so you just get quack quack. I'm not gonna do it. Now let's do it. Ah. <laughs> we got two bounty platters and we got some hot beverages as well. It's got more in it. You know, I thought you were saying that's got more in it, so I'll have that. <laughs> <laughs> we're leaving in about 45 minutes, so we're going to actually take a taxi, like an Uber, down to Port Canaveral. The last time I took a Disney cruise from Disney World, uh, I used the Disney Cruise Line transfer, which is $80, which is fine for one person because it's there and back. Uh, but an Uber is about $60 each way, so it's actually cheaper for us two to do it. Um, the only downside with the Disney Cruise Line transfer is it goes based on when they want you to go. So I didn't leave last time until like 12, 30, 1 p.m., which means I didn't get to the ship until like two, maybe three. Um, so we missed out, on a f I missed out on a few hours last time, but we're not gonna make that happen this time. My first Disney Cruise, so we're gonna have a walk around the ship, have a little look, that's the plan. Get some lunch, hopefully go to Cabana's when we first get on board. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm looking forward to getting down there and even just being in the, the port. atrium, yeah, the port. Um, they've got characters meeting there and stuff like that. Have they? <coughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'll have to retouch out that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're just getting ready to go. Gary is finishing off his case. <laughs> Um, they actually sent us luggage tags to our home. So Gary got sent his, I got sent mine. Um, and essentially you just put them on before you go down to the port. That way when you drop off your bags with the porters at the terminal, um, you are ready to go. The bags will magically find their way to your room later in the day. La la la. Um, this is a four night cruise to the Bahamas. We're going to Nassau in the Bahamas, Castaway Key, Disney's private island, and also to a day at sea before we return back to Port Canaveral. So three full days. 
Um, Gary's first cruise. Yep. He's rather excited. I am. This is my first cruise as a Castaway Club Gold member. Not platinum yet. I've got to do ten cruises before I can get there. What's the perks of gold? You don't know. Uh, you get a free gift when you Ooh. arrive, and I think you maybe get priority boarding. I don't know for sure. I say this, I wrote a book about it, <laughs> and I've covered the memberships and stuff, but anyway. Um, basically, when you, sail with cast when you sail with Disney, you become a Castaway Club member. After your first cruise, you become silver, so after this, you will be a silver member. Oh, who, me? Yeah. Look at me. <laughs> um, okay, so, was it, was it there something else I wanted to mention? Oh, like Kara said, who, me? It's only me in the room. <laughs> <laughs> um, we actually booked this kind of last minute, only about a month and a bit ago, as a guaranteed veranda room. And basically, as the cruise is coming up, if there is availability, Disney will discount the rate and call it a guaranteed room. So you can't pick which stateroom you're in, but they know you're gonna have like a veranda or you're definitely gonna have an ocean view or whatever the case may be. And uh, we saved about 600 pounds off the price of the cruise. So if you wanna get it cheap, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. Well, it took a, we took a chance and it paid off. We got a family veranda room, which is yeah. an upgrade, a essentially. bigger room with a balcony. For free. So, well, not for free, but the upgrade was free. <laughs> paid for. <laughs> paid for. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, we're very excited and uh, just need to get up and go, I guess. Mm, I'm ready to go. <laughs> beep, beep. You ready to go on a cruise? I am, always, but first. We have just seen this just most seen... amazing drawing that Betty B. Dot Draws sent us. I don't know if you can see that. You can. But... If you hold it still, it will focus. That's how awesome. beautiful is that? And not only that, they've got my Chip and Dow ears that I got in Disneyland Paris. Look at that, little chicken Dow. So thank you, Betty. That's really, really, really... <sighs> I love Amazing, so an amazing, amazing drawing. Uh, really, really kind of you to do that, but... Um, time for a cruise! Time for a cruise! <laughs> Christ, 16 years old. Is that old she is? She's 16 years old, she's that good. Well. That new Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, All Star Sports. Oh, Ed Sheeran's playing again. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> right, you, right, right, you go out, take your case, get out the door. You've got one wheel, remember? I know, but move. <laughs> and away we go. Right, you take that. Okay. I'll take you. All right. Gary and his cases. A saga. Put your bag on. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, it's all right. What are you doing? There's a thing it got caught. The Running the maid over. Oh, 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 no, no, this is a daily event. I'm always injuring myself. Oh, it's chilly. It's chilly. Oh, they've got a flamethrower out the front to stand next to. Love it. Brr. Oh, right, we're waiting here for our Uber. We've ordered our Uber. We have had to order an Uber XL, which has bumped up the price a little bit because we've obviously got three cases between us. Three cases and a Gary C. <laughs> I'm not as slim as I once was. <laughs> um, but obviously, like, if you were just two of you with two cases, you'd probably be finding a normal car. Um, I'm excited. I'm very, I'm very excited. excited. I want to see the advert. I want Mickey there, breaking ass, la la. I know that's not going to happen. Lower the expectation. <laughs> Lower the expectation. When we first came to Disney World, he was like, so Goofy doesn't go on the barnstormer with you? But the, the characters don't go on the ride with you? He's like, no. Are they do in the advert? Yeah, that's the advert. <laughs> Day to go to Disney Cruise. Sun is shining, birds are singing, blue skies. Heading out of Disney, and there is the uh, electrical tower Mickey Mouse thingy. Hidden Mickey, but not so hidden. <laughs> Let it be obvious. <laughs> yeah. Those buildings there, that is Celebration, and that's where the Disney Parks offices are for Florida. Fun fact. <laughs> oh, that's NASA over there. 
That's a tiny little square. Yeah, that's the assembly building. And then next to it is the launch bay. Uh huh. Just over that here. Disney Dream! Disney Dream! Disney Dream! <laughs> She's already trying to get the pictures, girl. <laughs> Great shot. I bet it is. Lovely for you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to miss the shot! I missed the shot, I just, I just got palm tree. I just got palm tree. There aren't real palm I, trees. I got it on camera and I also got you struggling for it, so that's all we needed. <laughs> oh no. Look who's on the back. Oh, it's, it's, it's someone. Sorcerer Mickey. Sorcerer Mickey. I haven't got my glasses on. <laughs> it's, it's a flavour of red and blue. <laughs> It's, it's someone. It, it's someone. Oh, he's very nice, that someone. <laughs> Whoa. What a shot. Fantastic. Wouldn't know I'm on the other side of the car. I sat on the wrong side, didn't I? I didn't even think about it when we get in the car. <laughs> I'm a fool to myself. <laughs> Here's the big Mickey Mouse. And then this is Disney's uh, own cruise terminal. So drop our, our luggage here and then we go in. All right, we're using a pro tip. We're gonna take the crosswalk over, go up a few flights of stairs, cross the bridge where there's no weight. Love it. The line was definitely shorter up here than it was down there. So it might be worth coming up here. Look at that shit though. Just get a shot without the car. <laughs> you know, me, I'm a perfectionist. Okay, I Should think we're about to go through security, so we will we'll see you on the other side. <laughs> we're through security, I'm the front man. <laughs> and look! Wow, there's a Mickey Mouse here. What's yeah. going on? No one knows. <laughs> oh, that's nice, the glass. Yeah, cool. It's I really love this lovely. terminal, it's very nice. The line to meet Captain Mickey is very busy right now. Oh, is that just to meet Captain Mickey? Yeah, but you can meet him on board for the whole cruise. Oh, we'll just so rather whenever... meet him on board. It's up to you. Rather meet him on board. Okay, we're just going into check-in. Um, that line is ridiculous to meet Captain Mickey. You can meet him on board. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Um, that line is ridiculous to meet Captain Mickey. You can meet him on board, so don't stress. <laughs> if you get here and you really want to meet him and you've got the time, go for it, obviously. Um, but yeah. he's standing in front of a model of the ship. Yeah, that's the, the that's models it. of the Disney magic. When you get in line to check in, uh, you will be given this questionnaire. This is basically just to see if anyone in your party has any symptoms of being ill, because obviously going onto a ship. You don't want your germ. <laughs> you excited? I'm very excited. He's in! So what time is it now? Uh, it is now 11.11. Make a wish! Okay. Um, <laughs> They haven't started boarding yet, um, so I thought they would have started by 11, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, we're going to Thank you very much. Thank you. We've got our boarding cards, and also this is our uh, rotations. That is Royal Tate, no, not Royal Table, Royal Court, I think. Animator's Palette, Animator's Palette, Enchanted Garden. I'm very glad we've got Animator's Palette twice because that's my favourite and definitely going to be your favourite. We've also got our boarding group which is number 13, which is not too bad. And uh, we're in stateroom 7150. Very excited, I'm also a gold member now, so this is my gold lanyard. I'm very happy. And I have my hat and one. <laughs> At the check-in desk, we were given the paper navigator for the cruise, so which has a schedule for today. That's today. The, what time's the mandatory drill? The mandatory drill is 4 p.m. 4 p.m., okay, so we just need to make sure we're there for that. Information on the Wi-Fi, which is really expensive. <laughs> $90 for a gigabyte. So we're going offline, girls. <laughs> See you on the other side. And then there's just a general 
one about the... I think there's shows on the front as well. Yeah, the shows are on the front. So Monday we've got the Golden Mickey show, Tuesday is the Beauty and the Beast, Wednesday is the Traveller Magician, and Thursday is Disney's Believe. Those two you're going to love the most, I think. And I'm going to get this every day so I can keep them. But and, and also, I'm not sure if they're doing paper navigators to the room, they didn't do it on the magic. But you can download the app and do it digitally. Or pick them up from Guest Relations as well. The door to dreams, the door to dreams. <laughs> Uh, they have Everybody a... on the cruise ship can wait while I have a picture in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> Not how it works, but alright. Um, so, they're going to be boarding soon. They just did an announcement to say the boarding groups are going to start being called in a moment. Um, it's very busy in here with people obviously waiting to board. It may be the case that they were hoping to start boarding earlier, because it's now 11.30. Um, but we're just going to pop out to the balcony, the viewing deck, have a look at the ship. Whoa! That's cool. Are those people's rooms, the circle? Yeah. I highly recommend coming out to the viewing deck. It is peaceful. Beautiful. It is warm, obviously. Beautiful. Got some great pictures of, the, of us in front of the ship. Because, oh, they've um, not seen our hats, have they? Oh no, we've, so I got these hats off Amazon. Um, which are like like captain hats. So we've been taking some pictures with them because we're that we're that corny. I love it. No, I need to the boat. Oh, you're a sailor. All right. Stood here watching the, watching the Disney Dream and everyone getting all the suitcases on and stuff and the Queen Victoria pulls up next to us. Yeah, which is Cunard, um, Cunard? Cunard. very elite ships. Oh no! I can't believe that has come in. Yeah. The Queen Victoria. It's a beautiful ship, isn't it? I've never seen one of the Cunard ones before. We've retreated inside to the waiting area. They're currently on boarding group number 11. So, what, what time is it now? It is... It's not 11 11 anymore. <laughs> it is 12 o'clock, so it's taken them about 50 minutes to go from 1 to 11. The restaurants are now open. I just looked on the app. The app has connected already to the ship. Thanks for connecting, it said. Morning groups 1 through 13. We've been called, we've been called, we're going on the ship. We're going on the ship. <laughs> What? This is my first Disney cruise. It's going to be pictures, pictures, pictures. Today. I know, I'm loving it. Today's pictures, pictures, pictures. Because the rest of it will be like, I've seen that. <laughs> Deck 7, been there, done been there, that. Been there, seen that. <laughs> okay, so how long has this been anticipation for? For me, a long time, because I've been trying to convince you for a while. A very long time. You're stepping aboard. Well, you're not yet, yeah, but we're going through to step aboard. Wow. The Disney dream. Through the funnel. This is cool. So basically, you'll get to this little terminal. You'll, the, you'll scan you'll scan your card on the, the little card reader. Those things is like little little <laughs> little ships. Hi. Hi. Thanks. Thank you. It'll tap through your lanyards as long as there's only one. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. We're not really feeling the vibe of this photo opportunity <laughs> because I don't want to pay for it. <laughs> so we're boarding the ship. I've had a picture in front of the real ship anyway, just now. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> and we didn't pay for it. Amazing. Hi. Can we please introduce us to Adam and Gary? Adam and Gary, yeah. absolutely. Come on in. Disney Dream, please welcome aboard Adam and Gary. Woo! Hi. Hi. Darling, darling, stop, stop, stop. Just like you. <laughs> sorry, yeah, sorry. Oh, look, it's 
<laughs> Amazing. That even that shot of me just then with it all behind was like It's like the advert. I'm tearing up because I'm just like I'm on it! I'm on this the ship! This is the shot I wanted! <laughs> This is it! <laughs> Not as nice as this. Gary! I mean. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. We're on the. We're, we're, this we're is so cool. <laughs> the main lobby. Bit manic when you're first getting on. Um, and I was like, let's get out of this room. <laughs> Before I have a panic attack. Well, it's the same with what you were saying to me about the characters. To hold off on the characters in the first day, because everyone who's new goes straight for the characters. Yep, yep, yep. And then it thins out as the thing goes on. Yeah. Um, so there is a line for animators' palette at the moment. Uh, that's the sit-down restaurant. We're not going there. We're planning on going to Cabanas upstairs. These are great. These illustrations on the walls. Oh, you'll like the art. I love it. <laughs> Especially like the way they've done the sketch style, like semi-tone, like coloured in. Love it. <laughs> Ta-da! Picture, picture. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you come to the, straight to the back of the ship and go up to deck 11, that's where Cabanas is. So we're going to go and treat ourselves to some buffet food. Yeah, how beautiful are those? Is that what all the lifts look like? Mm-hmm. Look, it's even got the ship name. I like how it's got a Mickey hand. Oh, that is really cool. I wouldn't mind one of them. It's all so nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, she needs to get a wipe. Okay, we're gonna sit here so we can enjoy the sun. Look at the cruise terminal. Oh, not bad yet. First impressions. Luxury. <laughs> go and fill your go and fill your boots. <laughs> I can see that Gary hasn't even got himself a plate yet. I can see him taking pictures of the blocks. <laughs> that is a very nice selection you got there. <laughs> They're very like big plates. That pizza looks good. Yep, that's at the very beginning. I love the fact that you got yourself vegetables. I didn't get past the first section. I haven't seen any of it. <laughs> I noticed you didn't get your plate until you have to take a pictures of the clocks. Eh? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> It is so strange, we've only just arrived and I'm just like blown away by how incredible it is. Just, I haven't even got round half of it. The foods, oh well. Hi. You don't want any pizza, George? Okay. I want everything. I literally want everything. So what's really nice is that as I've been going around the ship, like my lanyard isn't exactly on show, but every time someone sees like that, I'm like, welcome back. So it's really, everyone's been really friendly, really welcoming. First impressions. We've only been on the ship for like half an hour, but. Busy eating. <laughs> that's a good night. I keep going, that's a nice shot. Because you can see like the sea. It's luxurious, isn't it? It's not like a normal. I love, I, lo I love the, I love the mise en scene of that. It's just luxury, in it. <laughs> very nice. Very sweet. Everybody is so like on it. Like there was somebody sitting on their own, and there was a cast member on them straight away. You all right? Can you do anything? Blah blah. And I suppose like we met somebody, uh, Brian. You watch him. We met somebody in the in the line. Yep. Brian and Trinity. Trinity. And they said that you get what you pay for and then some for the, for the survey. Amen. I'm feeling very zen. I was saying to Gary, I feel like the clogs in my brain are starting to slow down a little bit and I'm like, ah. Now I'm on the ship, I'm like, okay, well, 
sorted. We're here now. <laughs> Can't go anywhere until the ship goes somewhere. I totally missed that. Gary's been sipping this coke for a bit. He just realised there's Mickey Mouse is on like... the cup. Has <laughs> it got Mickey on it? <laughs> wow. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> I just thought there is a magician here. Maybe you can teach me how to do the hole. And it's gone! In my bag. What's your opinion on Cabana's buffet? I think Cabana's is amazing. There is something for everyone. If you like seafood as well, which I'm not really a fan of, they've got crab, they've got king prawns that are like the size of your hand. I remember when I took my grandparents on Disney Cruise for the first time. My nan loves prawns. And she went, she? She, went she came to Cabana's and she went... And I saw her, like, her eyes widened and she was like the happiest woman ever. And they sat down, my nan and granddad both with full plates of prawns and went... She's nice. <laughs> yeah, well they're all the size of like a kid's black like, hair. Yeah. It's actually been kind of nice boarding a ship and not going straight to the Disney dining reservations bit because normally when I'm coming on I'm like I've got a mission, I need a reservation for Paolo. But this time you're not a dining you're not a fancy person. No. Well I just had pizza. A fancy person. A no. fancy dining person. Not a fancy person either. I just had pizza, chips and chicken, like So we'll we'll just stick to with what we what's included in the cruise basically. Paolo and Remy, there are obviously additional costs, but yeah, um, it's been nice to just walk up here. I'll tell you what, we've been on here for 45 minutes, 40 minutes, and in 45 minutes, it's now 12.45, this place is Oh, it's nice. Got a little cookie as well. From the assorted cookies range. <laughs> I might get some ice cream actually, that carrot cake does look good though. You can see behind me. If it's got to like 12.45, 1 p.m. wild levels, people. Don't bother coming to Cabanas. It crazy, it busy. Just know. <laughs> come in really early as soon as you get on. So this is eye screen. Is it like eye, eye screen. Do you get it? Oh dear. Eye, eye screen. Um, yeah, so this is open pretty much all day. Is it free? Yep. Great, just up. Everything's free unless it says you pay. Pay me now. Oh, it's chilly outside though. I've got a little shiver on. <laughs> it is January. I come out of the I come out of the restroom and then there's this. <laughs> what? You said it was great. This is the 18 plus area. No kids allowed. Oh, it's amazing the difference between that pool and this pool, isn't it, Gary? <laughs> I can't eat you for open my ice cream little spring. <laughs> and I've got the Cove bar here, which is the coffee bar. Um, and I've got my kind of nice little balcony bit upstairs. Oh, look it. at that. Oh, oh. Treat yourself. Get it for the ground. Get it for the ground. It's just got an air of fancy. elegance about it, hasn't it? Mm. As I casually your the <laughs> That pool just looks so inviting. Not with that breeze on my nips it don't. <laughs> How would you film it? <laughs> this is the highest floor. Uh, this is Currents Bar. Well, I say it's the highest floor. There is one floor up and that's inside the funnel for the kids club. Right yeah. Funnel club. <laughs> <laughs> we can go and have a look actually. But we'll walk around here and then we'll go back down. Show you the outside bit. The nice thing about the adults only deck is uh, not only couldn't you find a Gary, but the um, the beds are nice and padded as well. Yeah, they're soft. Is it really breezy up here though when the ship's moving? Oh yeah. We oh, don't want too cold. Well, when you're in the Bahamas, it don't make a difference. And I love this as well. Like a rainfall. It's like a mini pool. <laughs> Baby Epcot. Love it. Yeah, if you look at the fun, if you look at the funnel directly behind that, that's the Kennedy Space Center. Oh, wow. Space, the final fun tier. One of my favourite pictures from my book. Well, that picture. Yeah. Now mine. <laughs> <laughs> I was really taken aback by that. I was like. <laughs> 
Let's go and see if we can get some electric shocks. Because I drag my thing, I always get electric shocks. <laughs> yeah, it's up there. We're inside the funnel. Um, I can't remember how you get out there. Uh, lift? Maybe in the lift? So this is Edge, which is the one inside the funnel. Wow. Hi! Hello! Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Break some moves, Gary. Huh? Break some moves. No, I didn't realise I was on the top. <laughs> I didn't commit to it. It's free of charge. Did we use? I didn't what? use it for anything, did I? No, you just must have slid it. So it, you're probably playing with it. So it popped oh, it out. I did. I've been walking along just doing that. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Nice to meet you. We were in the edge, and I looked down at his little lanyard, and I went. Where's your cruise card? He's lost it. We've been on the ship for, for an hour. Because <laughs> there's like an, on these, there's like an easy slide out and he's just been like playing I've with been it. playing with it so I've pushed it out onto the floor somewhere. So it could be anywhere. I didn't have my spinner anxiety ring on, which I now have, because of that's what I was doing with my fingers. <laughs> okay, so what did we learn? We learned Disney this ring. Please welcome aboard the Not to fiddle with Venice things, family. only the ring of truth. <laughs> <laughs> Not to throw your cruise card on the <laughs> But the, the guy who was helping us, Edson, really great. Um, what, uh, I said, oh, is it going to be deactivated so like no one else can use it? And he was like, yeah, don't worry, Tiffany's isn't even open yet. <laughs> That was amusing. As if I've got Tiffany's money, look at me. <laughs> That's Tiffany's there. Right, Tiffany. D Lounge, which is for all your bingo and family game show needs. Hello, it's Gary Oakey. Come on down and try some. Oh, shudders. Um, the district is That's the nice. adults area. Chim cherry You don't feel like you're just on a boat. Like, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> That's the district lounge. What's this one called? This is the district lounge. But my advice is go into pink. Oh, is pink the best? I like it. Ooh. This is lovely. Hi there. Hi. This is nice. So this one is pink. This is the champagne bar. I'm gonna talk over this because it's copyrighted music. Just make sure you can't hear the music. I love these doors as well. This is my favourite lounge. Hi. Wow, this is nice. And every 15 minutes, this changes to a different skyline. I so like this a lot. So you can be dining in Tokyo, you can be in France. New York, New York. That's New York, isn't it? Uh-huh. Love it. Right, let's go and check out the stateroom, I think. We're 7150. These are so good. I love the little we haven't even got in the stateroom and he's already going <laughs> Yeah, just touch band. it, just touch it against the, the reader Oh, it lets me in! Imagine if it didn't <laughs> Oh, God, it's big That's, that's my present That's your gift And that's the luggage tag, it is a luggage tag It is a luggage tag um, You're welcome to both of those, because I already have them I will have both of them <laughs> I've done it on eBay Oh, we need to put the, a card in the reader Oh, I really like these. Quick photo, quick photo. <laughs> oh, nice. This room is huge. Oh my god. So this is this is a family veranda room. Um, normally this big. No. So the the standard staterooms are like 
I think a little bit thinner that way and definitely shorter. That means, like the circle bit means we've got a bath. Okay. So, and that's a pull down bed. There's a bed that comes down from the ceiling and there's also a bed in the sofa. So in the ceiling? Yeah. So actually, depending on who's sleeping on what, that's probably a more comfortable bed to sleep on because it's an actual Murphy bed. Oh, okay. Instead of the sofa bed. Also, Granted, I've slept a week on that and I loved it. Also, we don't want to get that out. That's nice, like it gets clean. Do you want to see outside? I do. So these are, these are a little bit fiddly. You've got to do that and slide. After you, camera, you see. No response from Scuttle the Scraggy Seagull. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's bleak, we've got easy access to the boat. We just jump down there and hope someone opens the hatch for us. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm really happy. I can imagine this is great when it's out of sea and you're just like... <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> oh, I fell over the thing. <laughs> Loses his card, falls over through the door. In my defence, I was too busy looking in the room, going nosing, and then just went flying over the step. Beware the step. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> um, so yeah, you have, the reason you do that is because it like seals the air. Uh, let's turn some lights on, shall we? The little phones that you can talk to each other throughout the ship. Wave phones. Where are you? I'm still in the room. Beep. Hello, this is Gary C. Oh, let me, let me ring someone now. Hello? Ticket card device, where are you? <laughs> so we're backed up in the corner, <laughs> taking pictures. Um, just so I can give you like the scope of what this room looks like. It is so- <laughs> This is the truth behind Instagram. I'm literally bending my back in half. <laughs> <laughs> it's so beautiful and there's so much space. Like if you want space for like a family of five, this is perfect. Um, Let's do a little little room tour. Little no room tour. What's in the cupboards? Well, the cupboards if are there was stuff in the cupboards, I'd be worried. Um, in here, we have lots of cupboard space, lots of drawer space, hair dryer. Um, this is the bit that Gary's going to like. Postcards! Hooray! And a Disney Cruise Line pen! Yoink. Yoink. Oh, these are really good. Good morning. I'll have one of you. That's a breakfast menu. Okay, and then there's good morning, good morning, good morning. Breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. For you, for you, for you. <laughs> I do like the pen. The pen is really nice. Can you see that? I do like nice stationery. Very nice. Very nice. And then you've got envelopes and stuff for your correspondences as you look out across the ocean. Dear Margaret Thatcher. She's the first name that came to mind. She's the first old person that came to mind. Oh my god. She's also dead. <laughs> Is she dead? Yeah. Well then she won't be opening my letter. I can say anything about her. Over here we've got the TV which has a selection of Disney movies and TV shows. Uh, fridge in here. Even more drawer space. Like I think there's already like two and a bit cupboards more than the other rooms. This is the sofa bed. Like I said, ceiling that comes... Uh, bed that comes down from the ceiling, Murphy bed there, phone, little drawers, bible if you're into that, double queen, that's a queen, is that a queen? This is a queen. Peasant. <laughs> um, I think that might be a king bed. Yeah, who knows. If the ones that we saw, like if the ones that we saw in All Star Sports were queens, that is not a queen. I that is like a king. Is that a towel? Just... It's a bed runner. Oh, is it? It's on the bed as a bed runner. Oh. Look, okay, this is this is this is what I have to deal with. Gary would come out of the shower and go, "Oh, good, a towel," and wrap himself in a bed <laughs> wrap. <laughs> it's a very elaborate towel. Got some hooks. We've also got the split bathrooms. Gary, well, let's show us look. the bathrooms. Come with me now as I show you a bathroom, which is oh, this is cute. Oh, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> so you go in here. So you go in here, you get oh, naked. Nice. There's a little chair in there if you want to have a sit down, think about life. Contemplate your next scheme. And well, that's a bathtub. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's a bathtub, oh. it's a bathtub shower and it's like a rainfall shower, which is nice. 
this, oh, that looks good. Cool, look, feel that. So I've got a matte finish, it's really nice. Mm. Okay. No! <laughs> <laughs> They're not the toiletries you can keep. <laughs> you are going you are just, you're a liability <laughs> from um, end to end. <laughs> How is he alive? And then a toilet, oh it's separate, so someone can go to the toilet even though the other one's having a shower. Someone can drop the kids off while someone's getting ready for the day. What's that, in the cupboards, Gary? That sliding noise is me sliding up because it was like... Oh, there's a lot of stuff with the logo on. I really like that. Oh, lots of hangers, this is what I was worried about. Got a safe in there as well. Very nice. Just in, just in case. We don't look at things like that. <laughs> Can't see you. Even more hang space. I could probably get in there. Let's not. No. Someone, we already did that in one hotel. I um, <laughs> might not get back in. Oh, look. Didn't read that. Caution, watch your step. <laughs> now you tell me. I will allow you... <laughs> I will allow you to put it in the video. We were talking like, oh, because I was like, Gary, I've been given that bag before. You can have it. And, um... He was like, well, I'm not even sure if I'm going to need a bag. I mean, all you need is money. Well, you don't, you don't need money. You just, you just need this. And I was like, yeah, just this. And then... You were <laughs> and it was there. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. I'm really jet lagged. It's just hit me. Now that we've got to the room, I'm like... Oh, no. I'll, I'll power back up in a, in a minute. As beautifully modelled by the Gary C. Ta-da, ta-da. Um, this is a good morning menu, so we can actually choose what we want for breakfast. Um, so if you want to have coffee in the morning, order that on there. It comes to your stateroom. Um, I think there's all sorts on here. They've got Danish pastries, assorted muffins, croissants. I personally like to go for a toasted bagel and have cream cheese on it. I will have croissants, typical me, <laughs> and I will have an apple juice because the apple juice they have on this ship is the American made something one that I'm obsessed with. Minute made. Then. Then. Um, it also means that when we come into Nassau, because the ship comes in normally first thing in the morning, like between seven and eight, we can actually watch the ship come in from the balcony without having to go out to the, like the buffets and stuff. Okay, so just going to go for a little wander. Let's have a look. Cool. Oh, we have a bag. Just one. Just one. This is Anne, your assistant cruise director, with a quick reminder of some of the fantastic <laughs> opportunities coming your way this afternoon. When you boarded today, you may have heard about the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app for your mobile devices. Okay, Gary, just slide your hands all the way in. <laughs> I feel like you've had to put it in too long, but I have no hand <laughs> This is what they lay on for the children. Yep. Being careful to not get any children in the shots. Because they're not mine. Internet for children. This is the Oceaneer Lab, so they play like computer games here. And we've got like the arts and crafts room. Very lovely. Oh, this is where they get the board games out and the cards and everything. Mm -hmm. It's brighter in here. But fun fact on uh, level five, the Imagineers brought the ceiling down to make the kids feel like they were taller, That's like they were adults. Idea. We've got like oh, a yeah, Star Wars bit in now. here. That it is. Because you know it's not, but you know what? You can buy a Darth Vader of these. We're going to get a little silly in here. Just in case you can't get on Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. They got you covered, didn't you? Oh, yeah. This is really cool. I wish I was a kid on a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a tunnel that's slinky. Love it. They have tiny little beds for kids when they're tired. Yeah. In the nursery. The nursery is an extra charge and you do have to book in. So if you're looking to like go to Paolo or something for the evening, I think it's like $4.25 per hour or something like that. It's in my dream guide. I'm trying not to cry. My eyes are like, it's so adorable. Now imagine Mickey Mouse coming to check they're all right. Do they do that? No. Oh. <laughs> Mickey's got a more important thing to do <laughs> than check on children. <laughs> Oh, 
Is she crying yet? <laughs> no, but I nearly was in there. When I saw the, the Andy's room, I was like, I wish I was a kid. There's so many good things for kids now. Back in the day, you were just throwing a tangerine and that was it. <laughs> like with that. <laughs> oh, children, they're amazing. <laughs> the, mom, the mom goes, I'm not sure you're going to want to swim. It's pretty cold. Okay. Why? <laughs> well, I can't do anything about that. <laughs> Why is it cold? Why is it cold? Mother! <laughs> This is the Who's It's and What's It's gift shop. Just gonna go and have a drink and then head back to the room. This is the 24-7 um, drink refiller station. Um, we've, got, we've got soft drinks up here, coffee, decaf, milk, tea. Uh, this is just on deck 11 where the pool is. So 24 7 24 7 24 I can do this we just briefly popped back to the room because the battery died should have brought one with me we are now gonna go oh. keep touring the ship sunglasses sunglasses well we're, we're staying inside the ship now aren't we what about the the drill yeah is that outside do you want to come back before the drill or do we just be out now okay we'll be out now this is the Buena Vista theatre I don't think there's anything on, so we're gonna have a little nosy. Like from the mines. But we're gonna be buying from I will eat only three to buy from the mines and sell directly to the public. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't stop there. Out of those three, Tiffany, Coke, Crap, and Diamond Man. It's a shopping thing. <laughs> this is the entrance to the Walt Disney Theatre and also the retail therapy. What? Pins, you say? <laughs> Oh, that's lovely. Very plush. WD40. <laughs> Walt Disney. You know what I haven't seen yet? The, um, the pictures. The move. Yeah, you've got to find them. Oh, you've got, they're not just that everywhere. It's so. not just in your face. You've got to look for it, girl. <laughs> it's Mickey's main cell. <laughs> Gary's going to push his face against the glass. Pins! <laughs> I'm actually literally just telling exactly what you said. <laughs> so close. Get it far. <laughs> and tonight's the Golden Mickey's. Tonight is the golden Mickey. There is a song, but I don't know it off the top of my head. I haven't seen it in a while. <laughs> so that's the show tonight. Golden Mickey's, yeah. Hello, Kings, are you in there? <laughs> Come, my brother, in. <laughs> So we've been trying to sort out the app and everything like that. Turns out, if you have, if I'm on the three networks, so which means I can connect to like 4G and stuff like that. If you have 4G on and you're also trying to use like the Disney Cruise Line guest Wi-Fi, it doesn't actually recognize the Disney Cruise Line Wi-Fi if you've got your 4G on. So you kind of have to go into airplane mode, turn Wi-Fi on from there, and then you can go into the app and it'll work fine. Also make sure you've turned on the notifications so you get your messages through and also that you have permissions for the app to use your location because otherwise it won't know you're on a ship. Helpfulness. This is Pub 687 which is essentially a sports is that bar. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Hey, no, no problem. This is where I do a lot of the quizzes. Oh, this is that construction. The theming of it is like, you've got there, you've got the construction on the other side. So it is a sports well, bar. Pub 687. 687 stands for the number of the ship. Right, so that's So that was, that was the 687, well the dream was the 687th ship to be built in that yeah. shipyard. Go in, come out, tell me what you think. <laughs> it's like a shower.
cool, right? Amazing. On the fantasy, this has like a whole like Gaudi theme. Oh yeah. We've got about 30 minutes until the muster drill. So we're sitting in these like cocoons. <laughs> what are your impressions? Your first impressions of the Disney Dream? Really grand. Does it live up to your expectations? Yes, it's like a deluxe hotel, but long. <laughs> <laughs> but long. Because I'm very conscious of the fact that you have things, things, and you go up a level of things, 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 yeah. things. So it is like being in like a Grand Floridian, but instead of it being rounded or squared off or like the contemporary, like triangular or whatever, it's a long version of them. Ladies and gentlemen, the girls and boys. There will be a mandatory guest acceptance bill today in 30 minutes prior to sale. The general alarm signal will be given at the beginning of the drill. While you are not required to wear your life jacket to the drill, your attendance is mandatory and you must bring your key to the world card with you in order to confirm attendance. Your help in responding to one of these alarms will add to the safety of our guests, crew, and the ship. This is the part of the cruise you should train for. After the safety drill is concluded, walking up about seven flights of stairs in order to get to the sail away party uh, and get the best view you can. Good job. <laughs> Feel my heart. The run up the stairs was worth it. Because we got here with no one. We've got our space on the top deck. We can see the stage. Gary's going to see the characters. Hello everybody, welcome to your sail away party. I got a question, you all. You all ready to party? You don't look like you just sit down. Everybody on your feet, everybody on your feet. We got a party happening, everybody. We got our space, it was perfect, we loved it, however, I'm part of your crew there is a drip, you gotta make it because they turned on the water machine. Quick, I need to speak to the people so the upstairs, that's that drip, I need to run it all on the floor, everywhere. You can see it on there, you can see it on there. But we're waiting for this spot, so I'm not giving it up. Compare when we got here, to that sea level. Everybody, 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 everybody,
On your Disney cruise now? Like we're moving it up! <laughs> but uh, it's actually very calm and the winds aren't too bad, so I think we're gonna be okay tonight. Fingers crossed. Touch wood. Wristbands that like, like people recommend, you know, with the things. Yeah. I think they slow your blood circulation or something like that. Thank you. Can't remember where the spa is. Uh, <laughs> we are sailing, sailing away. So the um, the spa's open for an open house, so we're just gonna have a little newsy. Six AM to ten PM. Do you have uh, locker rooms to change and stuff? If you're into fitness. This is the rainforest room. <laughs> we had a little tour. Um, so the single pass for the whole cruise is $69. The couple's cruise for the whole cruise is $129 plus tax. Uh, and then a day pass is $29, but depends on whether or not they've got availability on the day. So we might check that because it might be nice to know, treat ourselves. It'd be nice to just do it once. Just sit, sit on some hot beds, sit but, in a jacuzzi. But all the different rooms, they had different types of steam, different types of air control and everything. I couldn't film in there, obviously, because there's people using the facilities. Um, those, <laughs> the people that were in there have obviously done a cruise before, but the second the, second the Buster Jewel's done, straight to the spa. <laughs> yeah. There were people in the jacuzzi just watching as we started to pull out. Just, that's the way to live. Truth be told, next cruise I do, I'm not fussed about seeing the Sailor Boy party for like the sixth time. You could do that. You could see the jacuzzi. Don't think I won't. <laughs> I, I, but this thing, I would be tempted to just get one of those passes. Especially if you're with someone. Like, yeah. for a week cruise, if you're on the Magic, $129 for a week for like the spa room. I just love it's the decoration good. of everything. It's so like plush. Mm. Kiao Bay is there. Owl aboard. So it's worth noting if you don't want to go to see the show, so say for example you've got a toddler that you need to look after in the room or you're not feeling very well, they do have a channel on here that you can actually watch the shows on, which is channel number do you do? 23. You can watch what's going on live. Mm hmm. So That's if you don't if you don't if you don't want to go to the show, oh, it's an option. How amazing! Where's the phone? <laughs> Look. Whoa! There's a seagull. Start away! <laughs> don't lock us out. <laughs> no. You can open it from inside and out. They won't hear our screams. <laughs> Yeah, a little seagull just sat there like, I'm coming too! Instead of goose. Gull. Look at all this beautiful coastline. Ready for hotels! <laughs> <laughs> so, um... <laughs> I got these, they're called Gingins, I bought these on Amazon. Uh, they're like ginger chews. Um, if you want them, I'll link them below. And Gary just goes, what do they taste of? Ginger! <laughs> um, it's supposed to be like a natural remedy to seasickness rather than taking tablets. Um, obviously, they, they clash with other pills that you take. Mental health pills. I never really get seasick, I just get like a little bit lightheaded on the first day. It tastes weird. That's because it's ginger, you like gingerbread. Yeah. 
Dad, are we going for the show now? Yes, I do look like a dad. I'll put my anxiety ring on the wedding thing. I'll be like, I'm taken. Everyone's like, no one wants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just met our lovely state room host, Nortel. Lovely. Love her. So much energy and charisma. She's she smiling. She's stage. We live for Nortel. <laughs> uh, we have gifted her a pack of graham cookies. My um, favourite snack from Disney World. Yeah, they work so hard on the ships. And so if I can bring a little treat to their day, I will. It also means that hopefully she'll like us and uh, our room will get done first. Maybe. <laughs> um, we're now heading to the show. Do you want to go upstairs or downstairs? Wherever you think is best, you have the best view. I personally like upstairs because I like looking down on the peasants. I live for these doors. All the little stickers. Don't knock on their door as you're looking at it. <laughs> run, run, run. <laughs> They're playing Mary Poppins Returns music. It's like one of my favorite scores. No change. Okay. These are beautiful. Oh, forget your fear. They're all around you. Oh still, no, that's a sad song. So they disappeared. So the balcony. Oh, this, is this is like 10, 15 minutes before showtime. Pretty spacious. Okay, so unfortunately we can't film during the show. This is Gary's first Disney Cruise Line theater experience, but we'll let you know what we think afterwards. Emotional times, girls, <laughs> emotional times. Did you ever think you'd see Quasimodo, I saw Quasimodo. Mickey and Minnie in the same routine? No, Quasimodo, <laughs> Golden Mickey, Golden Minnie, incredible harmonies on Can You For The Love Tonight. The singers were amazing. The Toy Story finale was amazing where they moved the little blocks, the little kids blocks into the word friendship. Spoilers. Like, oh. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, really, really good. Um, loved it. Really good. It's literally it's, it's, a do it's you know what, better than I remember. Do you know what it is? It's Disney going, we are the best. <laughs> <laughs> We's the best. <laughs> we are the best. It's so, just, yeah. So great. you loved it? Loved it. Would recommend people do it, especially if you've got small children that are into um, Snow White, Belle, things like that, because those sections are amazing. I need to pee. <laughs> We're watching the live singers whilst we wait in line for uh, Captain Mickey. He's really good. Really good. Mickey! Mickey! <laughs> All the blood's rushed to your face. I know, I'm just like so excited. <laughs> Calm down! <laughs> don't cry, don't cry. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello! How are you? Instantly checks the archive. <laughs> there we are. We've Captain oh, Mickey. Oh, oh, you scared the camera. It unfocused. There we are with Captain Mickey living our best lives and I tuck my shirt in to give myself a fake waist. There. Love a French tuck. Love a French tuck. Also, uh, hide the rolls. Good. Here's my card. Who's the card? <laughs> Gary, I hope you're not looking for a wedding ring, because that ain't happening. Hi, how are you today? How are you? Wonderful, thank you for asking. Oh, lovely. Oh, that is nice. How much is the, the cruise line necklace? The cruise line is the 18 carat rose gold. It's priced at $1,275. 1275 the original design, the sterling silver, is priced at 325 and this Castaway Key exclusive piece is $180. Oh, that's sweet. So we're here in Tiffany's on the first day and they have something called the uh, Grand Celebration Welcome. Where there's free alcohol. I'm not a big drinker, neither does Gary, but if you want to get some wine or some spaffles, pro tip. Also, on the last sea day on this cruise, they have something from 10, 11, 10 to 11 called Breakfast at Tiffany's where you can get some Tiffany Blue mimosas, some croissants and stuff, so. Moo Moo, Sheru, yourself over to Tiffany's, I would say. Thank you very much. Ooh, nice. What's in it? Rubbing. Key lime. Ooh. Key lime chocolate. Really nice. So as you can see, the, uh, the line to meet Captain Mickey, rather long. We actually got there before he came out, and we started from like there. So um, you said that one of the tips is to 
So you saw online? It's like online I saw a tip there. 10 minutes, 15 minutes before the time, get there because nobody bothers to go. So they just think, oh, just casually turn up and then you'll be at the front. Which and we were. Yeah, we were. That'd be the best. But we know what you're here for, Gary, so let's not, let's not, let's not beat around the bush. Around the pointy bush. <laughs> Gary just saw this suitcase. It's like, oh, how much is that? And I said two hundred dollars, and he went, but it's got four wheels though, which beats your one. Which beats my one. Wheel. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch the first video, you will know exactly what happened to my suitcase in the airport. <laughs> if that was a normal pin, I'd be straight on it. But it moves. It has little legs and that moves. No. Gary doesn't like a pin that moves. I don't like little bits hanging off of them and things. No fuss. No fuss. Hi, welcome to Mickey's Main Cell. I'm just gonna replay what Gary just did. I'm gonna get you, 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 I'm gonna get you. Not you. Look at that. That is the devil. How much is that? This is really nice. Well, I don't really look at the colours normally. I just, because I'm on holiday, I just go, mm, no, nice. They're right there. We don't talk about that. This is the pink code. Nobody sees the price. <laughs> so we just saw this lovely yellow t-shirt. I was like, oh, it's look, it's a Disney Cruise Line version of the Walt Disney World t-shirt. And I was like, oh, I might be able to wear that because it's lighter. And I said, it's because it's under a light. And I said, oh. And he's already decided on the pins that he's getting, which is collectively about 30. Yes. Oh, look at these. Toys. Stop trying to distract us from the fact that you have an addiction that we need to address, Gary C. I'll buy other things to stop myself. <laughs> no, that's I'll, not how it works. I'll, it's not, I won't spend $100 on pins, I'll spend $100 on other things. <laughs> and I'll, then buy the pins when he's not looking. <laughs> I'll quench the flames with other things. Mm. These are really good. If it wasn't for the fact that I have no room in my suitcase other than pin space. Why do you need bath toys? For my nephew and niece. This would be quite a good thing to get them. Oh. Because they can share these. Nephew and niece, is it? I mean. Rub a dub dub in the tub. <laughs> I just found a suitcase. That is beautiful. 200. Why do you think it's 200? Because it's probably going to be the same price as the other one, right? 199.99. I know my prices! Those are really nice. They're really nice. Imagine yeah. if you had that as a set. They feel nice as well. Is that better than the uh, the other one? Oh, much better. That feels a lot more expensive. What is it? What is it? Much better. <laughs> it feels a lot better because it feels more expensive. It's like you're getting more for your monies. That's lovely. <laughs> we opened it up and it only got better. We opened it up and we both at the same time went, oh! <laughs> this is really nice. Do you know what? I could get this and then you could have borrow one of my cases and then I have this. Yes? Disney Dream Mug. Disney right. Disney Dream Spirit Jersey. Is that what that is? Yeah. That's elaborate. That's nice. How much is that? What is the price? What is the price? 64.99. I see the price. Check it out. See the price. Oh, good. But the thing is, there are people. Oh, I do like that though. But there are people that who do collect mugs, and that's that. That is their souvenir from the holiday. That's yeah, that's it. So that is worth it then. Yeah, I mean, I don't collect mugs. In fact, kind of thing, I I don't like things that take up space that aren't uniform. That sounds ridiculous, but I know what I mean. Like mugs, got to be the same thing. I think we both decided we love this shop the most because it's all like. Disney Cruise Line logo merch, isn't it? Yeah, but it's not logo merch as in tacky. It's like quite classy stuff. Ooh, socks. Ooh, socks. That's... Stop stealing my stuff. First my case, now my socks. I saw this. <laughs> 16.99. But they're socks that you would treasure forever. I mean. This collection is lovely. <laughs> Got Alex and Annie's in here. Love it. I do this all the time. It's not Royal Court, it's Royal Palace. It's Royal Court on the fantasy, it's Royal Palace on the dream. I think. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> 
We've been lucky enough to get a solo table. I actually requested this ahead of time. Uh, they did say it's not guaranteed, but very happy. Hello, hello! Hi! Hello, welcome to Royal Palace. This is going to be your uh, tutorial to dining. Here are going to be your speciality drinks. They're going to cost you more, so uh, order wisely. You can choose from an appetizer, you can choose from a soup and or salad. You can also choose from your main courses and then we'll finish off with desserts which will be a separate menu. On the menu you'll find vegetarian selections as well as lighter options if you're watching the parents. Bon appetit! Let's walk you through the menu tonight. So I am going to go for the duck confit and the breaded deep fried brie because it's just fantastic. I'm also going to get the leek potato soup and I'm also going to have the steak. And I think Gary's pretty much having the same thing apart from the brie. Duck corn food. Amazing looking. I also got the brie. Leek and potatoes soup. Times du. I mean du. That's four. <laughs> but on train we both ended up getting the steak. Uh, I've gone from medium well. Medium? Medium. I don't like it when there's like juice coming out. I don't want it mooin. Moo moo shirooin. Moo moo shirooin. Love it. Hello, it's me, Gary. Having an incredible time. Thank you, Adam, again. Just, I'm starting to relax now. I took pictures of everything. And I'm starting to like, chill out. Ooh, thank you very much. The dessert menu has arrived. And it's in a little envelope. Gary went for the creme brulee. I did. I couldn't manage dessert, so I went for coffee. And uh, I am really struggling with jet lag right now. My advice, if you want to come on a Disney cruise, stay for two nights before if you're coming from the UK. Adam's tired. I'm pulling, pulling, pu pu pulling, pushing through. But it's currently 9.35 and I am so ready for bed. Guess what I did? No! That is good. <laughs> I had to get your reaction. I knew what it was going to happen. It's a swan. Is it? Or. It's an elephant. With a large rear. Sure, let's go with that. I literally forced Gary to stand outside whilst I got in for the camera angle. <laughs> yes. And now he <laughs> is taking the picture. Of course I do. That is an elephant, I'm sure that is. I've had a shower. Gary has come to join for I the still end. Look like, I still look like I've just washed up, <laughs> cast away style. Um, I have been very kindly gifted the queen bed from, queen bed, king bed, I don't know, from Mr. Gary C, because you've got the Murphy bed. Well, this is the thing. I'm next to the window, so if I hear the sea, I'll be like, mm. Bonus. Um, before we finish the vlog, if you've seen a previous vlog series, you'll know that I have a dream guide for cruise lines. So if you're thinking about doing a Disney cruise, uh, it's on offer. It's on offer. And before, uh, if you're watching before this date, enter code DREAM and you can get 20% off the book. Um, for all you speed readers out there, <laughs> you got it for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's like booking information in that guide. Uh, it also goes through basically everything you can do on board and also tips for going into port and um, Gary had a flick through. I didn't let him read the whole thing. No, I wanted because it to surprise is him. so detailed and like informative and I, he didn't want me to know everything. I didn't want him to be walking around the ship going, let me tell you a fun fact about these lifeboats. And Actually, like, it's funny. I have done that today or something. He went, you read the book. I was like, yes, I did. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want to go and grab that, there will be a link below. We do ship worldwide. Um, but what was your highlight of the day? My highlight of the day was, I think we all know what it was. It was meeting Mickey in his Captain Mickey outfit. Gary choked up. Also, as we were trotting around, I saw Minnie come out in her uh, first mate Minnie costume. So she does that here as well. Gary likes the characters, <laughs> if you haven't already cut them down. And towel animals! Oh, the sailing away thing as well, that was really good. And the gold... Even, even with the, the, the run up seven flights of stairs to get the best oh, spot. I mean... But the what, gold... was, what was the chances as well? Us getting the best spot and then... The aqueduct leaking and drenching you. Well, I'm assuming it was just like a drip, but... It was I a, know, it was a from a drip. being a lifetime of a drip. I know I dripped when I <laughs> see one, and that was one. But... Yeah. Anyway, so many good things. It's Nassau tomorrow, which is our first port of call. 
Um, it's been a really good day. What I am... a statement to say to people. Going to the Bahamas tomorrow. Cash. Just cash. Just casual. Oh, you going. need to sleep. Sli I need to you're, sleep. You're, you're cutting out now. <laughs> I need to sleep. All right. Link to the book below. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to a few stuff. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you tomorrow.